believe she is free. You feel that? <laughs> this is awesome. Now she can just worship the Lord. the 
that gift that you placed on my life. In faith now, I stir up that gift. Lord, I remember when I was 11 years old, you spoke to me. You said, I've called you to take my healing power to your generation. I remember that, Lord. And now I step into that gift. I stir up that gift placed upon me. And as the people of God agree with me, I declare, in the name of Jesus, sickness, I command you, lose your hold now. Let go of God's beloved. These people belong to Jesus. I command right now, arthritis to be healed in the name of Jesus. I command heart disease to be healed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that demonic spirit of cancer. You go from this place right now. In the name of Jesus, we come against deafness and blindness and paralysis. Leave them in Jesus' name. It goes in Jesus' name. I take that authority now, and I break the power of the enemy in this place. Church, sickness has lost its hold here. Reach out and grab your healing. It's here. Sickness has lost its hold. Reach out now. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Sure. sickness. Move that knee, sir. Move the knee. Well, come on, walk with me. Walk with me. I sing. Walk with me here. Let's go down the stairs, yeah? Come on. Also, also, you said you couldn't lift your arm. This is why I'm holding that corn before I have right now. It's really fire. You didn't do that before. Okay, so it's stuck right here. Why was it stuck here? Pain, something. So he was in a lot of pain. Come on, show them. Do this with me. Like this. Worship stance. What about this arm? That arm good? Oh, okay, so worship the Lord. There you go. Church, this is what Jesus does. He brings healing to the sick. God bless you, sir. What happened here? This is Jan from Hemet. She had depression, and when you broke the spirit of depression, she felt it lift. She's also suffering Breaking with off rheumatoid of her now arthritis. In Jesus name. And she's believing said what for, else? She's also suffers with rheumatoid arthritis, and she believes that God's healing her. Where was the arthritis? All throughout your body or just in your shoulder and your neck? My hips. Come on, let's move. Show them what God did for you. She says there's no pain, church. And how, how, how long was that there? 20 years. 20 years. And we break. That's, you know, I really do sense in this season the enemy is assaulting people with depression and anxiety. Especially the church. And we break it up. How many can kind of feel that right now? Just kind of 
Lord, send it onto them in Jesus' name. Send it onto them in Jesus' name. What happened here? Yeah, this is powerful. She has a thyroid problem. This is Anna. She had two lumps on her neck and she felt them go down. What? She felt Say that again. She felt them go down. You felt the lumps go down in your neck right now. So what did you what did you feel when the power was moving through you? Um, I was praying. I had my hand up and then I had my other hand on my neck. And then Try try your best. I know it's heavy up here. Touch her in Jesus' name. <laughs> Don't let her fall off the stairs now. It's just, and you can sense them? Yes. And you felt the, the, the bumps go down in your hand. Church, this is miraculous, and we need to give all the glory to Jesus. <laughs> what happened here? Brother Diga, this is Angela. She's had scoliosis in her spine since she was 12 years old, and she was in the overflow, and she walked in and felt the presence of God set her free. No pain in her back. She lives in pain since she was 12 years old. Since she was 12 years old. And, and was there curvature? Yes, curvature of spine. She slipped and fell, made it worse, and also been in several car accidents. But she says there's no pain in her body, and she began to move her shoulders. Did your spine straighten? What did it feel like when you felt your spine straightening out? I actually felt I couldn't stand tall before I kept bent. You came in bent over like that. Show the people how you were bent over coming in. Just a little bit. You came in like that? Yeah. I couldn't stand tall. Not... And, and forgive me, but you, I know you said since you were 12, and forgive me for asking, but how many years have you been dealing with this? Um, maybe 20 years or so. 20 years. And Jesus has made her whole. Lord, thank you for this miracle. Touch her body now, Lord. And I pray you use her for your glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. This is Edith. Who? Edith. 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 Yeah, Edith. And uh, she had suicidal thoughts when she walked in. When you said suicide, she felt the power of God come on to deliver her. She wants to live now. In the name of Jesus, we drive out every demonic spirit. Come on, church, you need to pray in the Holy Spirit right now. Every demonic spirit that has had influence over you. There's this music you listen to, and, and you go to it when you feel this way, and that's the door that the enemy came into your life and is through that music. And it comes with the whole culture around it. But God is breaking the power of the enemy over your life. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, come on, church. She's going to get delivered tonight, like right now. Every spirit, you've got to go now. You've got to go now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ghost, in Jesus' name. Come on, church. Pray in the Holy Spirit. We're casting out a devil here right now. In the name of Jesus. I break the power of the enemy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Peace. Peace. All fear from things that happened to you when you were a little girl, I break that power in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus. She went from crying and torment to the joy of the Lord. I don't care what spirit it is. There is no spirit more powerful than the Holy Spirit. This is why we need the Holy Spirit. We need the power of the Holy Ghost in our churches. I believe.
believe she is free. You feel that? <laughs> Church, this is awesome. Now she can just worship the Lord. Did you feel something jump off of you? I felt like my stomach was cleansed and something came out as soon as he said suicide. Like I just felt clean. You just got delivered. You can go home free. Hey, Edith. You're gonna sleep better tonight than you've slept in years because the enemy tried to torment your mind. Go rejoicing in Jesus' name. And the church said... Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.